Prime Minister Narendra Modi, attending the G7 summit in Japan, unveiled a Mahatma Gandhi burst in Hiroshima. He paid respects to Gandhi, highlighting the global impact of his ideals of peace and harmony. The burst symbolizes the friendship between India and Japan. PM Modi also met with his Japanese counterpart Fumio Kishida during his visit to Hiroshima. The Reserve Bank of India has announced the withdrawal of the rupees 2000 banknotes, but they will remain legal tender beyond September 30. The RBI believes that the four month window provides sufficient time for people to exchange these notes at banks. Most of the circulating rupees 2000 notes are expected to be returned within the specified time frame. This is a routine process and there is no need to panic, according to sources. During the second Chintan Shivir of senior officers of the Ministry of Home Affairs, Union Home Minister Amit Shah stressed the need to harness and safeguard modern technologies like drones and artificial intelligence. The objective of the Chintan Shivir was to discuss Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Vision 2047 and formulate an action plan to enhance capabilities and prevent misuse of technology. Border Security Force announced that two Pakistani drones were shot down along the India-Pakistan border in Punjab, thwarting a smuggling attempt in Amritsar. The BSF recovered a damaged drone from the area and in a separate incident, another drone was intercepted and destroyed in the Amritsar sector, preventing smuggling activities. Following a thrilling four-wicket victory over Punjab Kings in the IPL, Rajasthan Royals batsman Shimran Hetmere expressed his intent to finish the game within 18 overs. Dhruv Jarel's six in the final over secured the win for Rajasthan Royals, dashing Punjab Kings' hopes of reaching the IPL 2023 playoffs at the Himachal Pradesh Cricket Association Stadium.